Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppers today, joined by Fritz. Oh, that on my seas. Check out a German, I guess, bigger brewed classic. Yeah. That I never reviewed, but I've talked about with Brett a lot of times, and I've uh, you know compared a lot of hoppy pilsners to this. But we're checking out none other than Jeva Pilsner from the Jeva Brewery in Jeva, Germany. <laughs> Jeva, 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 Jeva. Um, straight from. A gas, yeah. ha yeah, a gas station in Hamburg. Yeah, a gas station in Hamburg, like no shit. Yeah, Brett brought this. He just today. Went up. I bought this today in Hamburg in a yeah. gas station. Uh, so Brett's been on tour with one of his music projects. Yeah. Uh, in not, more? not or my not mine, project, you're but, the guitarist. But I'm playing. Yes. Yeah. And uh, they went on a tour. Small. Uh, had some gigs in Germany. He brought this as a gas station because it was kind of fresh. <laughs> and it's like, I wonder if Peter's reviewed this. It's like, no, but he talks about it. Yeah. So, and the, you said they were around five weeks. So he was like, oh, let's try it. Yeah, uh, from what I could see, it was like, t uh, but uh, what what did you say? Like, canned by the end of August. Yeah. Like so, 28th of August. Yeah. So, really fresh beer. So, yeah. uh, I don't know much about the hop composition of this. I couldn't find out, but it's 4.9% and it's 40 IBUs. So, yeah. very bitter Pilsner. And I know a lot of people that love hop, hop forward Pilsners say that this is one of their favorites, at least the bigger produced ones. Yeah. Also, a big note you had when we just poured this out, the awesome yellow head that just fluffed up. You do there not see is. that on <laughs> most macro pilsners anywhere else in the world. The German big produced pilsners, although they're big, it generates are definitely, it so easily. Yeah, but they're, you know, although they're big produced beers, they're usually much better than any other big produced pilsner. I think they are the Germany. best. Uh, you know the best country in the world producing like yeah. small uh, bigger scale uh, beers i think i'm not entirely sure i think yeva is still independently owned yeah yeah i think so from what i remember it's it, not it, owned by bitburger which is also mm. pretty big but i also think bitburger pizza is pretty good for yeah. a big beer but uh, but yeah let's check this one out so yes. really bright uh, clear golden yellow color it looks like my kind of pilsner very yeah. light a uh, nice white head on it, really crystal fluffy clear. when you put it out. Yeah, crystal I don't know clear. if it's filtered, maybe. I think it is. Yeah. Uh, there is some particles flowing around, but yeah. otherwise it looks very nice. Let's yeah. take out the aroma. That, yeah, that smells quite nice. Actually, surprisingly, not that hoppy aroma for it being a really bitter pilsner. No, but it's super clean. Yeah, it's really bready. Yeah. Really, loads that, of big bread. Not crackery, actually. I'm getting okay, like a okay, soft, yeah, like doughy white bread. Yeah, even white bread. Yeah, yeah. yeah. True. Supermarket bread. Uh, okay, it's owned by the Radebeger Group. Okay. Ah, so Radebeger Pilsner. I know that one. Good. But it's, Thanks, it's like, I, I, you know, I was actually expecting it to be less hoppy for some reason, at yeah. least it, like aroma wise, than it is. But I think it's quite lemony. And, you know, yeah, there's a lemony vibe. There is a little bit of a floral edge and some grassiness, but compared to craft examples, mm. like if you example uh, compare it to like Riegel's handpiece, which is also a really bitter pilsner, that just punches you in the face with hop aromatics. Yeah. This does not. No, it's, but you can I, still smell it's brewed by a bigger brewery. Yeah, but I think this smells much better than yeah, yeah. the other uh, like mass fairly yeah, mass yeah. produced pilsners or lagers you would get from Germany. Yeah, so, or just like European like brewers that make pilsners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, because yeah, it's just uh, super clean track. I really want to drink it though. Yeah. It's one of those beers you smell. It's like I really want to just drink this. Yeah. So let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for bringing this, Brett. Really refreshing. Mm. Really refreshing on top of the, the kind of beer we just had. It's interesting. The bitterness seems quite light, but it builds on the back end. And it really digs in in the aftertaste. Mm. You have this really it's bitter herbal spice. Substantial. Yeah, it's like a really, well, I think it mm. builds. It seems quite soft. And then right now I'm sitting with a really big herbal koita, uh, hopten uh, geschmack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you have to remember this beer, is, no? this beer is like between one and two euros. So. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> I mean, if so. I, I would 10 times rather drink this than most macro beers. In yeah. existence, yeah, it's 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 quite nice macro beer. I will say that that's for sure. Yeah, because it you know it's super clean. It's yeah. crackery. It has a nice like oh. floral, peppery, zesty, lemony yeah. hop character. The know. second sip here, I really noticed the bitterness. Mm. Uh, 
compared to the first, almost as if there are still residual beer left. Yeah, from the I think one. we just drank a 17% stout, so yeah. <laughs> quite a difference. But yeah. it's really nice as a palate cleanser, not, and that's not the not a derogatory meant towards pilsners because I fucking love pilsners. Uh, and this is something I'd slam on all day for sure. Um, it's it's one of the better, like bigger produced pilsners mm -hmm. of Germany. Yeah. But you have to like high bitterness because it, it feels really high also because it's so dry. Yeah. I mean, it, it almost, so I think for a lot of people, this would feel as bitter as a West Coast IPA, yeah. even though IBUs are lower, but there's no like fruity, sweet kind of flavor at all in this no. to like balance it out. So it's like just really dry and really herbaceous and bitter and grassy and yeah. Yeah, and the most base is like crackery. Yeah, slightly doughy. Very, very lightly doughy. Almost yeah. like a rice cracker. Uh, I see the aroma cakes. is more doughy. Than, yeah. yeah, but I, yeah, I agree. Like crackers and, and yeah, rice crackers. Yeah, <laughs> because yeah. it's so light and airy. Yeah. And then that really high bitterness. Like this is really high quality macro beer uh, for, yeah. for, for what it is. I think so. I. I I think this proves why this is my preferred uh, German like mainstream pilsner. Yeah, I think I, it's been years. Since I, I we should try and see if we could revisit Bitburg as well because I used to love that back in the day. They actually also had that at this ga gas station. They also had Flensburger. Yeah, <laughs> but from what I could tell, they weren't as fresh. So yeah, okay. Yeah, but this is local, so that's probably why it's fresher. But both Bitburger and Flensburger and all that stuff is actually fairly. If you just go down south to mm. the border to Germany, you can get them like this and they're they're next to nothing. I yeah. mean, we, we could technically drive to Flensburg and yeah. drink the beer at the brewery, <laughs> really. Mm. It's not that long of a, of a drive. Uh, maybe that should be an on the road at some point. Yeah. On the road to Flensburg uh, Brewery. Yeah, Flensburg, right? It's, they yeah. also, in Flensburg, they have a small craft brewery near the harbor with Kasper Schultz system, like a brew pub, doing classic German beer. It's pretty good. Yeah, but also heard they had uh, actually yeah. have a pretty uh, a pretty good uh, craft beer shop in Flensburg. Yeah. That's open fairly recently. I was thinking 89, maybe even a small 90. Yeah, but, like, 89. I'd, I'd imagine at... The, Dead fresh at the brewery would be a 90, just mm -hmm. because it'd be a bit yeah. more, even more popping. I think so. On keg, where you can get a <laughs> proper is, pour yeah. and a proper glass and get the real experience. Yeah. Uh, but, like, it's rare you get beer that's produced on big scales that are this good. Mm -hmm. There are some, but most of the time, you know, they cut corners, there's, they use all kinds of crap. Uh, I know my old brewmaster, Tom, worked at one of Germany's bre biggest breweries. And he was telling me about how quick they did their lagerings and everything was just down to science in terms of doing it with the correct Leinheitsgebot ingredients and whatnot, but just doing it as quickly they could by manipulating yeah. the beer with pressure and temperature and things like that. So Is they could churn it out really quick. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but this doesn't necessarily taste like it's something that's churned out really quick, but it also, it's so like macro, like clean, like, it's not as like a, a well-aged lager is clean, mm -hmm. but this is almost like a sterile clean, if you can see what yeah, I mean. Yeah, I know what you like mean. Chemical and I think clean. maybe that's the, uh, yeah. But, but I, 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 see what you mean, I see also what you mean by maybe like a, a kiss of like an, a sulfuric vibe. Yeah. But lagers, you know, naturally. Yeah, 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 yeah especially Germans. Yeah. Uh, German lagers. But yeah, yeah, I think 88, 89 or something like yeah. that. And as you said, maybe a 90 if it is fresh at the brewery mm. in a mug or something and you're just stuck at drinking it. I love the bitterness. And I think most people who like bitter beers will love this. Yeah. So I wonder why these guys haven't been teaming up with a lot of the big old school breweries in the States. Like Bitburg has made collabs with the Sierra Nevada. Mm. So why but I think maybe Yeva is, Yeva is a little more like German local. Maybe. Yeah. I don't think Radeberger sells much beer really outside of no. Germany. I do know there's a little bit of export to the States, I think. Yeah. But yeah, but yeah if you guys had a chance to try Yeva Pilsner, let us know what you thought of it. Thanks for picking up some cans, right? <laughs> well, it's been a long time since I had this beer. <laughs> so. so, but if you guys had this one, let us know. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're gonna yep. say cheers. Yes. And see you guys in another beer review.